Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Physics 121 concept session on applying a single kinematic equation. My name is Nathan Martin, and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So in this problem, we're given a car starts at rest, then starts moving with a constant acceleration of five meters per second. How far does the car move after seven seconds? So, we're given essentially a, a dynamic problem, right? Stuff's moving with a constant acceleration. So, this is very, very, very important. Constant acceleration. So, a constant acceleration is the entire basis of your kinematic equations. Don't be that fool that uses kinematic equations when the acceleration is variable right? These equations, again, I want to really, really, really emphasize this. The kinematic equations only work with constant accelerations, okay? So, uh, this one. We're going to be using this, uh, this kinematic equation, right? You have your final distance is equal to your initial distance, plus your initial velocity times time, plus one half times the acceleration times time squared. Okay, so what I like to do, I like to just write out all the like kinematic equations on a piece of paper, there's four of them, right? You just write them all out and kind of just read the problem statement and then pick an equation that essentially fits what you're given, okay? So let's kind of make like a little kind of tracking sheet in red over here. So do we know XF, the final displacement? No, we don't know that, right? That's what we want to find. We want to find how far does the car move? So we don't know that. Do we know the initial displacement? Uh, yes, it doesn't exactly tell us, but we can just assume it starts at an origin, right? We can assume it starts at an origin because it's not telling us it starts anyway. So let's just assume it's zero, right? Or what we could even do is just kind of combine these two. We can say delta x is just xf minus, oops, not equals. We can say it's the final displacement minus the initial displacement is unknown. Kind of same concept there, right? Do we know what the initial velocity is? Yeah, it starts at rest, right? So if it's at rest, that means your initial velocity has to be zero. So zero meters per second. Do we know the time? Yes, time is seven seconds. And do we know the acceleration? Yes, it's five meters per second squared. So now I like to just run through the equation, okay? Do I know xf? No, I'm trying to find that. Do I know x naught? We kind of had that discussion, right? We do know it if we say it's x naught, or we can call this entire thing delta x. So we know that. So I'm going to circle what we want to find. We don't know that. We know that. Do we know the initial velocity? Yes. Do we know time? Yes. Do we know acceleration? Yes. Do we know time? Yes. So we have one equation with one unknown, right? One equation with one unknown. Therefore, we can solve this thing, right? So let's run on through and solve this. So the final distance, x naught, so that's zero, plus zero times seven, plus one half times five times seven squared. So if I throw that in my calculator, I find that this is 245 over 2 meters, 
which if I were to, you know, divide that out, that is about, no, it's exactly 122.5 meters. So that is how far the car has traveled after seven seconds. So kind of main, main kind of like overview of kind of what's going on, right? These kinematic equations, they're not too bad. It's just what makes these problems very difficult is deciding what you know, what you don't know and applying them. You'll see very short, uh, maybe in the next video or two, that they can get kind of uh, complicated, okay? But the basic idea, right? What you know and what you don't know and start messing with the equations until you know everything, okay? Awesome. So let's clear that up and talk about some tutoring services. So if you go to this website, tutoring.asu.edu, you can find more information on tutoring services, such as our hours of operation, any um, review sessions, all that good stuff. Remember, it's completely free, all free resources. And then if you want more uh, concept videos, just like the one you're watching, visit this website here. Awesome. Uh, thank you all for coming or watching, I should say. And we'll see you in the next video.